Okay, I'm going to unburrito the sleeve. This doesn't look like a sleeve, but this is a sleeve to a shirt. And I interfaced the cuff, and then I sewed the cuff to the end of the sleeve with the seam allowance hanging out. And then I took the facing, and I sewed up this side, the long side, and the, and the short other short side. And then I stuffed the shirt in there so that I could sew a few inches on each side, further on that side than the other side, um, and then of where the shirt attaches, the cuff attaches to the shirt. And now, so that's the burrito method. It's really hard to explain. It's, you have to see Janet Prey's Craftsy video to fully understand. Maybe there's some other videos out there. Wow, this is a tight burrito. He doesn't want to come undone. <laughs> but now I get the fun and magic of unburritoing this, unrolling the burrito. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, let's see here. It's coming. It's just, it's one of these super fun things like lining when I could get my seam poker out of like, um, there's some really cool things with sleeve linings that, and cuffs you can do that are just neat little tricks that, you know, it's like you don't even believe it's going to work until you see it. And I just poked out that corner. I like to do corners, uh, I like to poke out corners using a um, forceps, but with the burrito method is kind of hard to get in there to do that. So you can see it's starting to take shape and I still have a little opening I have this is the only opening I have in this cup so you're able to get the facing on with very little well you really don't even have to do any uh, hand basting okay so that pulls out like that so this is that little part I sewed where I stuffed the shirt up in here I stuffed it up like that and um, now, of course, I need to uh, press this sleeve, and that'll clean it up quite a bit. Um, yeah, but the only part that needs to be sewn down now is this opening here. So what I'll do is I'll press this down. I'll press this, the rest of this facing here kind of pull it taut like that and then uh, press it and then I'll just base this I'll just machine base this down like that to hold this just because you know the facings are so wobbly even after you press them so I'll, I'll just put some basting in there hold that in place and then I'll just top stitch get that corner out there we go I'll just top stitch uh, uh, around the cuff and the top stitching along here will sew down this little part and the cuff will be beautiful. The trick to this technique is knowing where these, this join is going to be. So having your stitch go exactly up to the point where this uh, join, where your uh, where this part of the sleeve, what does that thing call? Stay? No, I don't know. And where that part joins into the cuff, because when you pull that out, you don't want this, you don't want this to be bunched up. You just want that to be nice and straight like that. It's kind of hard to explain, but like I say, Janet Price class. Anyway, redo cuff. <laughs>